Give me that Z8 helicopter kill. No, look behind you, please. It would look so cinematic right here. Do it, flip it, flip it, do it, do it. Please, please. Come on now. I, I'm, the script writers are in overdrive. Damn it, come on, man. Come on. Just ruin the intro. Oh, wait, no! Made the intro so much better! Hits the tail rotor, tail rotor, out! ZHA spinning into the desert, and he's gonna hit the deck, and oh my god! The two tap! Hey guys, Moidog here, and today we've got another episode of I'm the Sky, where we take a look at a game of squad from the top down, and in this one, we've got another invasion round, with China this time taking on the insurgents on Al Basra. Unlike the usual Al Basra invasions, this one actually has the insurgent main located way out southwest, with the invaders actually having to skip the airport entirely and first push the bridge. Which means that very quickly, you instead have a lot of city fighting instead of playing around in the desert. This makes for a really unique layer, and with the new Chinese vehicles and weapons, they can definitely cause insurgents problems if the insurgents don't dig in quickly. This game had some great back and forth and amazing solo moments, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and drop me a comment below with a map, game mode, or faction you'd like to see in the next one. And don't forget to check out the live streams over at twitch.tv slash moidoc, where I stream every weekday. And if you'd like to find yourself in a game of Eye in the Sky, I actually record them randomly throughout the week over on my server, The Potato Fields. We have a number of servers, and I like to bounce around all of them, so play on those servers, and you might find yourself in a video. But that's it for me. Until next time, peace. All right, Eye in the Sky, Al Basra Invasion. We are doing Al Basra Invasion V8 uh, with China invading. And then we have the insurgents as usual defending. So PLA will be pushing. Uh, the airport is actually not in play for the first point here. Uh, it is the North Highway Bridge as the first point into refinery into riverview apartment north all the way down to lower estate south servo and then their main insurgent main actually way out west a really unique layer setup i do really like being able to actually fight over the typical insurgent main over here so that, that should be a, a lot of fun all right we have a zbd a couple zsls and infantry pushing in and we can see it is going to be Ooh, actually, we have SBG Techie out West Airport. Um, infantry already set up on North Highway Bridge, so it should be a really active first point here. As you see, the Chinese Navy. Oh, that... <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't know what vehicle went in. Yeah, it is amphibious. Thought maybe uh, they got a little ahead of themselves. A couple infantry already down. One entire PLA boat has been killed. Another one down. Lodgy smashed into a palm tree. And it does look like one insurgent Lodgy was killed by the boat. So good effort here. A couple boats were abandoned, but I think they might be able to recap them. And you have a lot of, a lot of infantry pushing. Oh, one last insurgent on the coast. It's obliterated by the IFV. All boats are down. The Chinese Navy just left uh, drifting now. It's going to be really hard to reclaim those boats. And it gets some um, outlines here so we can see the first point insurgents still just barely holding on. I don't know if they were able to get a, an actual radio down. You see way out... Here, you see the little uh, hourglass figure. That is the radio. Um, we also have, I think, a rally. Yep, insurgent rally nearby. Another uh, hourglass right underneath Speedy. Uh, insurgents red, PLA blue. And right now, in addition to this little push on the main objective, we have way out west... What's been causing a lot of problems is... I don't understand. 
why the ZBD is out by himself. Literally no infantry support, no other vehicle support, and oh, it <laughs> doesn't matter. Obliterates a Lodgy. ZBD says, I don't care. I'll do it all myself. Needs to be very careful, though. That's a lot of infantry right in front of him. I don't quite know. Oh, oh, he's, he's full. It's a clown car. Infantry dismount. Actually might be a huge play if they're able to hold. VCP is really crucial when it comes to uh, the south side of Al Basra. And you can see infantry just all along the fortifications here and defenses. But just give them a sec. You're going to have insurgents anti-tank anti here soon. There you go. RPG smacks the front right of the ZBD. It needs to be very, very careful because they're probably also going to be calling for uh, insurgent tank support. We got the T-62 way out northwest of this position and just ahead of us here. Yep, there it is. T-62 on, on mark. And there it doesn't matter. RPG finishes off the ZBD. We're tracked currently. We'll try to engage as soon as we get up. And risky play. Doesn't really pay off for the ZBD. We'll have to see if insurgents can overrun the infantry here. But you heard on comms. Uh, and as we see, one section of pipe in the entire highway bridge has no longer rendering. There, there are buildings there. You just got just believe, okay? It's, it's there. There are things here. As they all go away. Okay, uh, tank is over there as we lose our immersion here a little bit. T-62. Might not be able to see. Because actually should be able to see. I mean, right there. Right where that section of pipe is missing. <laughs> is actually uh, where all the armor is. So there you go. Uh, we'll flow back around as China. They did face check the first point. And you can see on the map here, uh, VCP is well secured. You're going to have a whole bunch of blue down here, but a whole bunch of blue on the main objective, the first point. Nine, you heard. As Skydog, Shigira, and GV's S. Taylor are just a maybe 90%. So probably going to fall back a little bit to main repair their, uh, their ZTZ tank. And then get ready to support the infantry as they push out. South side push, though. Really good. I, I like seeing the infantry fighting vehicles pushing up a little bit, supporting each other. This open top ZSL, though, is kind of meme -y. As you can see, the, the red outlines, you have all the insurgents as they are getting hit by some mortar fire right now. On the hab. Good mortars. Fantastic mortars. That little shack right there, right in the center of your screen. That is the insurgent hab. And that is just getting pretty much spawn camped. And you can see no longer a lot of red outlines here. Just a lot of dead bodies. As you have infantry just flat on their face. As now Chinese Marines... Touch right on the on the beach and get instantly obliterated. I don't think there, there's only one left as he has an AA. Oh, and they're getting engaged by these ESL as well. Oh, fantastic. Marines get wiped by the AA truck. A truck gets wiped by the IFV. It's like a, some crazy game of rock, paper, scissors. And fantastic play with good overwatch. I mean, this is a fantastic position. A little too late on the draw to save the uh, the infantry dismounts there. But that's a good vehicle vehicle to get killed. Well positioned. Just need to hold this flank in the Chinese infantry. Oh, as you can see, they just splash on over. They don't care. Absolutely love the amphibious uh, vehicles, the amphibious update. That squad. I mean, a completely new dynamic for Al Basra. Before, this would just be unplayable over on this uh, east side of the the objective and now you have these vehicles just causing a whole bunch of problems for insurgents 
And we can see on the map, next point is refinery. And carbs. Just on a little boat ride. You can see no longer gunner. Just simply driving all by himself because that open top hatch is so easy to kill. And try to get away before he gets wrecked by some AT. And let's see where the push is coming from. Um, infantry are still popped up in VCP. And if we look, VCP isn't actually a point. Uh, sometimes they have uh, this village area is also an objective. It actually isn't. So VCP is a little bit out of play right now. And you have so many squads that are holding VCP. It's not necessarily a bad thing at the moment. 233 tickets to 780. But if you start to allow the insurgents to build up the super fob a little bit, uh, you're going to have a really big problem. <laughs> there he goes. Another boat just goes in, gets face checked by rifle fire. Now, the big question here is this refinery fob, I believe. Do we see another radio? This could actually be a huge problem. Wow, the insurgent defense fob is actually all under this radio. That is a huge problem because PLA, they can pretty much uh, contest this radio, not even worry about the point, and then knock out all defenses, all spawns. So insurgents need to get a, a spawn south side as soon as possible, get a radio south side. This is a really, really dangerous play. It kind of made sense if you had a North Highway Bridge, but without North Highway Bridge, you're just this is you're about to, you're asking to get rolled and let's see way out west here we're about actually to have a nice little tank fight take a look at the chinese armor ZTZ just rearmed. You can see that is a huge remote weapon system on top of the turret. I mean, the, the tank itself has a pretty low profile, but that, that turret can cause a lot of problems if you're trying to be sneaky. Oh! Speaking of being sneaky! No way! IED bike rolls right up on the unsuspecting ZTZ. It's absolutely obliterated. That came out of nowhere. <laughs> what an IED. Huge plays by the insurgents. And if you're the insurgents, I mean, the entire game, you're just going to be roaming around looking for that perfect moment. What a play. You can hear the, the command. We're in command comms for ZTZ right now. They... They didn't even say anything. They probably just said, really? Really, dude? Really? <laughs> oh, man. Let's take a look at the uh, the map now with uh, Z. I think that is Z. Hold on a second. Part of the quick camera movement. ETGM e flying on by. Uh, 20 minutes to get the... Uh, tank back up so that's a huge loss of armor at the moment and you now have insurgent btr btr 80 trying to clear out bcp so whether the chinese like it or not they're about to get wiped here one infantry pushing out it gets gunned down R rpg or actually no was it the dsl i, th I believe takes out the engine you have Chinese uh, infantry spawning in the hab. The hab is right underneath this canvas tent you see right here. And their anti-tank is spawning in and then trying to get distance. You don't want to min arm at the moment. Infantry trying to clear out the Chinese infantry. Good little movement. Oh, hold on. You got enemy running in from the south side. Insurgents all trying to push. 
You can see Insurgent, one crew member actually goes full. Oh no, what a whiff! No, the crew member goes to dismount, pushes the hab, has the jump and still whiffs every single shot. Insurgents starting to overrun the position now. And it looks like they will probably be able to completely wipe it. Turn this on. Anyone you yep. see in blue is Chinese. Anyone in red, insurgent. So you only have Jonas yep. yeah, out on the backside as the last Chinese infantry. And he might make a huge play here, actually. Knocks out one. But no. doesn't manage to get Juxin as Margaret Gaming, who hates milk. And uh, Harambe's swag push in to finally over uh, run the position. Fob for the Chinese will go down, and that is another 20 tickets you do not want to be losing. But just as we mentioned earlier, uh, the radio out by this bridge for the insurgents really poorly placed. And as you can see, we now have a Chinese radio placed underneath the bridge. Oh, great RPG into the side of, is that a transport? Uh, Laji, actually. No, it is a transport. You see, the uh, the Chinese transport vehicles actually have a machine gun in the in the uh, in the front cab. The only unarmored transport vehicle that has uh, a machine gun in squad. And we can see there is a UAV up right above us right now. Chinese commander trying to get eyes on the situation. And as we see more and more of this whole northeast wave start to push in. They don't really, insurgents don't really have a spawn nearby. I'm trying to figure out where exactly their fob is set up. Uh, their nearest spawn is in this building where you see Paul, Corsix, and Dub Frosty. So they're having to spawn in and then run quite a while to get onto the objective. Whereas, uh, oh, hello, T62. Pushing in and might just absolutely obliterate this Lodgy. Chinese Lodgy gets an AP round right through the backside. Machine gun mops him up and T-62 will push the position. If anything is going to save the insurgents right now, it's this T-62 mopping up this fob. And that is a frag round. Doesn't do much to the front of that Lodgy, but he does knock out a couple infantry. He does take an AT as well. <laughs> That's not as... If you're infantry right now, that will not kill the tanks. Uh, Almost gets a track. AT into the side hole. And he needs to finish off that Lodgy. That's too bad. Just some defensive smoke to get himself out of there. Conceals the position. And once again, hits a frag round into the Lodgy. That's going to do nothing... As the T-62 falls back, we now have the BRDM scout car. This is getting hit by a CSK, which is like a like a Chinese Mat V, actually engaged him and knocks him out. Huge plays by the CSK. Lodgy on fire for China as well. Finally goes down and. You have the Chinese have been completely pushed back off the point. Huge plays by the insurgents. Might have lost the BRDM. I think a little bit of a misplay losing that BRDM. But that tank push, as you can see, a whole bunch of red bars coming in. That is just a whole bunch of dead infantry as they just take frag rounds. You have uh what is it? Is it a Jaguar? What what's the uh what's the <laughs> It's like it's like a Sioux strike, it's like the Hornet strike, the Rocket Barrage, uh command rocket barrage. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think that did anything. It looked cool, it sounded cool. I don't think it even killed uh Jaeger over here. I think he just was actually defended against it against those barrels, so 
kind of an ineffective command strike right now. And I think artillery would have been a lot more effective, unfortunately, for Chinese command. And this looks like to be another kill on the A truck, but I don't think he realizes right to the left is the BMP-1 sitting of your screen past the smoke trying to line up. RPG comes in, slams into the front plate. I don't think, how does he not see the BMP? BMP waiting for an 18 GM. BMP is going to be patient. Oh, they actually did kill a BMP. I don't think they, that's that hole that's on fire. That is a BMP one they just killed. I don't think they realize there's a secondary BMP that just dunked itself right in the river. He's actually pushing the ZBL right now. And with the turret facing the Southwest, he actually might see him as he gets pushed up, especially if he starts taking the incoming fire to distract him. Going to be BMP and needs to be very careful, making sure that he has his AT gym ready. If he, if the BMP pushes with the Malutka, going to be an easy kill. We can see just south on the right side of your screen. You should see that map. The red marks down here is what we're looking at. And as you hear on command comms, unfortunately what the BMP did is he actually skylined himself, put him on the top dune, making it really easy to see. I don't know what it is, don't know exactly where it is, but command chat kind of maybe saving the ZBL right now. Another RPG flies around the side. And it sees another BMP. What is BTR-80 as well pushing in? The BTR-80 with that 12.7 can do a lot of damage. You see evasive driving. Maybe try to make it just hard to shoot. But I mean, the BMP actually got kind of smoked there. You can see actually reversing. Wow, what a play. I mean, ZBL probably not in a position to kill any of these vehicles, but did just enough to scare off the BMP, scare off the BTR. Infantry had to fall back. And what I thought was going to be an easy kill for insurgents, ZBL is going to fall back to live another day. And they needed that. 76 tickets to 622. And we are going to see that is going to be really important as infantry now pushing into the objective. A bunch of smoke mortars got to turn on our outlines here so you guys can see. This, uh, as we've said it before, rectangular prism. You see this rectangular prism <laughs> as the capture point? Uh, this is where the infantry needs to get in. So right now you see the north side of the rectangular prism, north side of the, the refinery, you have plenty of uh, Chinese infantry. But on the south side, this insurgent force just pushing in, and it looks like they're overwhelming the ZBD, and the ZBD has just had not a good game. One already going down early at VCP, and another one looks like he's tracked taking a bunch of RPG fire. Oh, very lucky. Tandem round actually dumps just a little short. Command, yeah, we're Commander. Dismounted and, and went to, or maybe the driver dismounted to try to repair the tracks and he's gonna take some more RPGs and there he goes, turret pop. Not what you want to see if you're the Chinese right now. 45 tickets to 605, and that might just be about game. Unless insurgents completely screw it here. I don't really know what they could do to, to screw it up, but... 43 tickets to 601. Insurgents pressuring the half for the Chinese. I think that's going to be just about it. 
We have a tank, a T-62, just below us to our right. We have the BTR-80 holding the infantry back. You see uh, TPR Cookie and Mutsu actually just got picked off by TLR Alpha. RPG slams into the front. Oh my goodness, IED comes in and absolutely obliterates the Chinese FOB. There you go. Oh, luckily just a couple infantry left alive on that situation. You can see the bodies just strewn about. Desperately trying to get that hat back up. Nearly killed all of them. That would have been a huge wipe. 37 take us to 597. Insurgents now smoking their own position. As you can see, the, these now HE mortars, offensive mortars. So Chinese mortars on the objective. Insurgent mortars concealing the HAB. Actually, really, really smart play here. And... In the distance, we can see the Chinese ZAG helicopter trying to do what it can, circling position, doing some resupplies. You need to be very careful that T-62 is nearby and taking a few shots. T-62 is going to be licking his chops saying, please. Give me that Z helicopter kill. No, look behind you, please. It would look so cinematic right here. Do it. Flip it. Flip it. Do it. Do it. Please. Please. Come on now. I, I'm the script writers are in overdrive. Damn it! Come on, man! Come on! Just ruin the intro! Oh, wait, no! Made the intro so much better! Hits the tail rotor, tail rotor out! ZHG spin it into the desert! And he's gonna hit the deck and oh my god! The two tap! T-62 with a huge play. Just wanted to go for the flare. All right. Hell of a shot, knocking out the tail rotor, mopping it up with an AP round right as he touches down. And that should be just about a GG. 16 tickets to 576. <laughs> huge. As now we have, oh, now we have the hell cannon adding a little bit more DPS out on the half, just murdering anyone who tries to push out. And oh my God, there you go. That propane tank just slamming into the fob. Direct hit. And you just in infantry doing their best but their best is not enough at this point eight take us to 571 i'm not quite sure what they could have done better but they probably should have just pushed a refinery uh, a little quicker uh we didn't see the reset but it seemed like the moment they got that hab down they waited just a little too long so uh, they really had the opportunity to get refinery and I think maybe playing around in VCP and playing off objective a little bit long, a little bit too long. Maybe the, the tank pushing out to do uh, uh, War Thunder out west instead of pushing the objective. Broke the radio. It happens. 568 tickets to zero. That's a hell of a game. 184 tickets to 150 or 184 kills to 156. Just uh, good defense. Good defense.